Well, good day, everybody. If I can get this camera right, here we are at uh, Maroolan Northbound. So if you're wondering, that's where we are. And uh, I'm going to get right into this. I know people are going to be joining us bit by bit. So all I can say is, um, oh, we're going to be stuck, going to be discussing a few things today. And, um, you know, as you know, we've got uh, quite a few deaths lately, and that's no good. So we'll talk about those and what, what people think we can do. The other things we can talk about is... Um, well, whatever, whatever you um you want to talk about. So basically, jump in there, um, say hi, talk about questions that you've got for me. Uh, what basically whatever you want to talk about. So this is going to be your show, and we'll just talk and talk until we've had enough of talking. So um, I will read out comments and stuff like that. So Joe's joined us, and James from Facebook. Hello, James. Uh, yes, we're going good. So as I said, we're here at uh, Marula Southbound. Let's have a look around. Uh, oh, there's Kelly. She's joined us. Oh, also, now, I hope the audio is just, uh, if you can, in the th give us a thumbs up. Give us something about the audio because I'm using this different microphone. I wasn't sure. Plus, next door here, because his ice pack going. It's not even hot. Um, but anyway, so we're going to be going for a walk around um, here. There's not many trucks here, unfortunately. This is a Sunday, though, so what do you expect? Uh, let's see. So we've got Keith joining us on YouTube. Um, can't read the old, uh, mm, yeah, some of the writing. Uh, Andrew's on YouTube. Rick's there. Joe, Kelly, James. Uh, Aussie Truck. Oh, look out. Uh, Brad's joined us from Aussie Trucking on Highway 31. Hope you're not getting weighed, man. No, well, I'm still here at uh, Northbound. So if you're passing, Brad, let us know if, you, if you're coming up. You will maybe either wait for you. There's uh, Malcolm. Hi, John. Uh, there's Malcolm. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I've had to uh, play around. As you know, Malcolm, we were having a bit of problems with the audio. But how do, how's the audio now, Malcolm? Uh, I had to find a new browser. But anyway, so uh, Nathan on YouTube says, uh, Hi, John. Love to chat, but I'm heading out for the Volvo. Was it on the Volvo in Newcastle tonight? Uh, you're coming through, Land Clear. Good. Thanks for that. No man, Brad says, uh, don't start till yeah, you're always starting so late. I'm going to put my glasses on because it's really difficult to see. Um, oh, if I can get these on. Uh, Rick says audio is uh, Jason uh, Howie champion. Thanks. Uh, going good. Um, uh, let's see. Don't start at midnight. Brad, you always start at midnight. I'm never going to see you. And also, even if you do pass Brad, Brad says, my microphone doesn't work anyway, so I think it sounds like you need a an, new antenna. But anyway, as we um, as I talk, we're going to just go for a bit of a walk around and show you Maroolan. Um, but uh, look, um, as you know, there's been quite a few deaths lately, and so that's something that I will bring up. Um, I did did release a video the other day just talking about um, about that and what we could do, and basically asking for for people. Um, what, what suggestions, if you were to ma uh, wave a magic wand, what suggestions could you come up with uh, in order for laws to change? Or do you think laws need to change? What is your idea about um, changes that could be made? So that's something we'll talk about. Uh, Wayne's just joined us. What is it? Your glasses are crooked. I know. I'm too cheap to buy a new pair. These are ten dollar pairs from BP, and I uh, sat on them once. And I, I, I just, I was going to buy a new pair. Who cares? I'm a truckie. We do it like we wear holy pants and stuff like that. Um, uh, will it be back in Perth in the near future? Um, yeah, I'm always back every couple of weeks. So, yep. Uh, Rick, uh, sadness, safety on the job. David Bang, uh, what's up, John? I have been watching you for a year now. What a coincidence! I just realised. Uh, a song called Road Train Today it would be amazing if anyone could give a listen. I just released. Oh, oh well, um, you can um, go on my Facebook page, uh, Road Train Australia, sorry, Road Train Adventures on Facebook, and um, uh, send us a link and we'll, we'll have a listen. Yes, it is sad about all the deaths. So if people want to, I did, did release a, uh, a video saying, well, what are we going to do about all this? Um, we've had heaps and heaps of comments about it so what i'm going to go do is compile a list of everything that's uh 
that's really important. And hang on, I'm just going to put this up here so we can. Ah, oh, too bright. Just can't win, can you, with this? And this is going to be noisy over here, I guess. Yes, yeah, good on you. Thanks for that. So, oh, and that's not going to work. Nothing works. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is, is release a, um, um, uh, if I can, compile some kind of a list where we can send to Parliament or something if laws need to be changed. But then again, do laws need to be changed? Because that's the other thing. Um, uh, I don't believe we should be regulating the life out of the industry. I, I think that, uh, well, there's a possibility that it was just a, a bad coincidence that all these deaths seem to happen around the same time. So, um, yeah, is uh, people sending super chats? Kelly for two dollars and Joe Hub for fifteen dollars. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> we're, we're not either clear, but anyway, thanks, thanks for that. And Greg, the old timers um, here. Uh, hello, hit the like button, Greg says. <laughs> okay, so yeah, as I was saying, I'm not so sure. If um, it could have been just a coincidence that all these deaths happened around the same time, uh, so I'm not really convinced that um, that it's it's all about uh, laws need to be changed and stuff like that. Because who wants to um, who who wants to regulate the life out of the industry and stuff like that? I mean, no one likes a police state. So we're checking tires here. Uh, I'd say Rick, uh, how you doing, man? Good, for, good, thanks. Better roads, yes. Uh, thanks, uh, the other Rick uh, from Facebook. Uh, sorry, from YouTube. Um, oh, so but if you didn't know, so we're transmitting this to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So that's why I'm going to say Facebook or YouTube, so you know where I'm talking about. Um, uh, what's it just about to say? Oh, better roads, yes. Well, you, you probably saw on that video how far, like you had the the um, the fog line, and then basically that was it. There's no more road. And that is a bad thing. And I think that's that can be the cause of action is because sometimes you, 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 you're trying to hit right on the edge. Uh, and, and when, well, during the nighttime times, uh, especially when there's, you know, just getting light or whatever, or especially when it's dark anyway, I don't know what I'm saying, do I? When it's really dark and people are coming towards you, sometimes their lights are so bright that it's really difficult to see. And you're trying to stay right over and then all of a sudden, whoa, you come off. And then if you're not used to um, coming off the road and what to do to get, get back on, some people jerk it back on and could go straight in the side of a truck. So is that what's happened in the past? Not this time, but, but maybe other times? Um, certainly, certainly something that you could be, yeah. Anyway, better roads. I don't think many accidents happen on perfectly good roads. Um, as mentioned in that video, rest, rest and stopping places. Not just for truck use, but for other users. Yeah, Kelly made that point about uh, more um, rest areas. There's certain roads and there's certain roads and on the, on the high, different highways where you could go 50 kilometres and there's no, no, nothing. Just and you get you couldn't even pull over on the edge of the road, which is just shocking. Uh, better rest areas that's not full of caravans. Yes, Keith uh, on YouTube. That's uh, that's a bit of a bad one, isn't it? Um, uh, I mean, I, I get it, you know, if you're a caravan, you, you try to save money and you, you know, you just pull up for the free, you know, uh, sleep there the night. And that's, that's I probably won't be wanting to do that too. Uh, Damien says, uh, sorry, but when it comes to driving, uh, to it, uh, driving to the conditions is what's most important. Yeah, and, and that's right. And, and there's so many different times where I don't believe certain speed limits and especially going downhill. Uh, you know how they say if you go, you know, do 40 down some of these big hills. Well, to me, I, I, I'll do whatever speed. Sometimes I'll do 60 down Green Mount Hill because I will I will um, sit on the speed that the engine brakes are going to be able to hold me back on. And if that's 60 and I'm not accelerating or I don't have to touch the brakes, then so be it. You, I mean, sitting on 40, I would literally have to turn the engine brakes right back. Otherwise, I'd be coming to a stop. So, um, yeah, I'm a big believer of that. Now, uh, Brad, what did Brad say? I see a lot of roads. Oh, hang on. Brad's all over the place. YouTube and Facebook. Um, I see a lot of roads. There is no fog line. Oh, that's. Oh, let me tell you a story about that one. 
just to drop and <coughs> just to potholes and stuff. Luckily, it's not a road train route. It's hardly enough. It's hard enough to stay in a single lane on the road. Yes, and some roads um, don't even have fog lines or a centre line. I remember one road I was on. Yes, it wasn't a highway. It was on their back roads, and there was nothing, and it was so foggy. I'm driving along. I, I, I literally come to 20 kilometres an hour. I could not see if I was on the road or off the road. I just was basically just hoping that, uh, you know, if I come up the road, at least I'll be able to feel what it's rough. It was that bad because there's no, no lines whatsoever. Uh, Craig on Facebook, enjoy. Thanks, Craig. Uh, Travelling Man says, thank you for all the great bits. Uh, reminds me why I miss it. Oh, Travelling Man. Yes, that's right. If you if you, if you you from a trucking background or travelling background and then you, you stop doing it and then you see videos of people doing it and you, you get jealous and I want to do it, I want to Yeah. I know exactly what you feel. Uh, Jason says, uh, rest in peace uh, for all those at Bondi. Yes. Um, Jason, I saw something on the news. I feel very wise. I saw something on the news. I'm not sure exactly what happened. So um, I can't comment too much about that. Malcolm on Facebook says, g'day, Jono uh, from Malcolm. <laughs> yes, I see that comment below. Thanks, Malcolm. Uh, Brian Wade on Facebook says, uh, yeah, but the Indians who put the high beams all the way up uh, in the air so it'll kill us more quickly than slamming into someone. I know uh, I cop it every damn night. Look, people's high beams and stuff are there. you got to get ready. Um, I know I've got pretty good uh, high beam as well, and um, I'm always watching your head, head. So if you see a light coming towards you, get ready on the high beam. You don't have to pound everybody who comes towards you and stuff. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks, Wade. Uh, Brad also says, um, uh, no, uh, no one knows how to slow down, so always pedal to the metal. Everyone's in such a rush, aren't they, Brad? Yeah, pedal to the metal. <laughs> um, like when, you, when you're passing someone who's broken down, I, if there's two lanes, or even if it's not, and if there's no one coming towards me, I'll always go on the wrong side of the road. I mean, why not give them extra room? It's not going to hurt you. It's not like you're going to get a fine because you're on the wrong side of the road. Uh, Keith says, dangerous one is people hesitating when overtaking. Yeah, talking about that, um, I, I guess dangerous when overtaking in, in the way that people hesitate, but also, um, uh, hang on, let me just get this around. Also, the other thing is when people, um, you know, let's just say you're parking a caravan and you, and you think they're going to back off for you, you think, oh, I'll, I'll go now, they'll, they'll back off, they can see me coming. And they don't, and they just keep up it. And we're like, uh, are you right? You, you're going to let me go? And then you see again another car coming towards you, and you're thinking, far out, right, man, back off. But no, 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 just keep up it. Yes, I do get a little upset at that. Um, let's see. Meshek, uh, I'm Meshek from Eldorak, Kenya. Uh, this has been a nice platform. Yes, thank you, Meshek. Uh, Clayton Sutton says, I hope you can hear me on the background noise. There's a truck car, uh, this truck here, this is pulled up, it's got his engine running, but that's where I use this microphone, which is under here. There, right there, you can see. Anyway, uh, the government bo boasts about revenue that it makes with its safety cameras. Yeah, don't get me started about that. It's time to splash the cash on decaying roads as a matter of urgency. Yes, Clayton, you are right. That's right. Um, they talk about all this money being raised, and, and there's millions. I mean, I mean, when you look at... Um, when you break down the cameras, uh, sorry, how much revenue each camera's made, some of it is like 300 million for one camera. And where does that money go? Yes. Um, I, I, I think more needs to be looked into that because this, is, this idea about safety cameras, I didn't buy it for one second, not one second. So um, that's why every single fine I get, I take to court and, um, well, I haven't paid for a single fine for... Well, a couple of years now. Um, Joe says, the worst thing I see is car drivers slowing down in front of trucks. They need space. That's true. Yes, we need space to, um, uh, it, we can't stop on a dime. But it is true to say, uh, there's a bit of a myth that people say, oh, so you're in a road train, you know, you need a lot more extra space to stop and stuff. That is true. But if I've got enough weight, see, I can stop my loaded road train quicker than I can my empty road train. So if I've got no, no weight on my tyres and I brake suddenly, 
is it a good chance I'm going to lock it up? Yes, because we don't have EBS and all that crap. <laughs> and we're going to lock it up, and I'm going to slide straight into the back of whoever I'm going to try to stop for. But if I've got enough weight on those tyres, um, which, which I have done uh, many times, and I had to stop suddenly, I can pull it as long as the brakes are adjusted correctly, of course. I can stop pretty quickly. So it's actually not that true that a loaded road train takes so long to stop. Uh, Ray on uh, YouTube says, um, is, is there a best truck for road train work or is it personal preference? I think it's, I think it's personal preference because lots of people like cab overs just because it's, they're easy around town, uh, they can turn on a dime. Um, yeah, so um, I, I, like, I like my 999, it looks great, um, sounds great. It's, it is personal preference, I think, you know. I, I mean, I prefer newer trucks than older trucks just because, um, well, they're, they're probably going to last, last a lot longer. Um, I'm going to go for a walk over here as we talk so you can look around as you know, see my face all the time, stuff like that. So, yeah, I think it is personal preference. I'm not so sure that there is a definite truck that this truck, if you buy this truck, is never going to let you down because sometimes you can have really reliable trucks. Let's just say Kenworth for a second. Most Kenworth trucks might be really reliable, but then one truck is a lemon. And it's just everything goes wrong with it. So, yeah. Uh, Rick says, six died by stabbing. Oh, I see six. Wow, really? Even a baby stabbed. Um, stabbed many in hospital. Mother of a baby. And John Singleton's granddaughter. The policewoman shot her. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, that's sad. That's, that's no go. I, I didn't know the details of that. Uh, Brad says, had a country road. Resealed last uh, week. No lines, no reflectors, no white posts. You couldn't see where the road was. Uh, the edge was a uh, cattle truck, unfortunately, didn't turn the corner. Oh, really? Well, they're going to have to um, maybe do a bit of overtime, you know, if they're going to do stuff like that and put something up before they go home for the night. Chris on Facebook says, um, I drive a super quad out of Tom Curry and I'm thinking about interstate work. Is it worth it? Well, you know, you've got variety if you're doing interstate work. At least you're not doing the same thing back and forth, back and forth. The man must kill you. Um, that's probably why I couldn't do it for too long. Um, I mean, the only good thing about um, uh, doing mining work and stuff like that, you can plan your week. You, you know, you're going to, um, you know, you're going to, you know, when you're going to have time off, you know, when you're back at work, you know, you're probably only going to roughly work about 12 hours and stuff like that. So, um, there's pros and cons for, for, for everything, you know. Um, uh, let's see, what else we got? Um, Rick says, what about three cents, three cents by three cents tax on fuel and use? Oh, Rick, I don't know. I can't comment about that. I really don't know about that. So can't say much about that. Greg on uh, YouTube says, what's the most uh, number of truck tires you've blown in one day? Oh, look, oh, I, 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 it's rare. That will blow any tires as you know in most of my videos i don't show changing tires because it just i just don't blow tires um on the occasion i might have a tire like you know i might as i'm checking the tires and i might see one that's gone down on me or dobby normally if that's the case then i'm gonna um i'm gonna how to put it try to blow it up uh, because i've got the airlines and stuff so i'll try to blow it up if for some reason I see a, a you know, it's just a, a hole in the tire or something, of course you can't do that. You've got to change it. Um, if it stays up long enough, I'll just keep putting air into it until I, you know, we can replace it later. Uh, Jason on Facebook says, "Nice country, Mount Gambia, yes." And uh, Mr. Danny says, uh, "Need to fix our highways. They are crap. Yes, and some way, some highways are crappier than anything." Ah, oh, yes. Uh, actually, that's why I can do this as well, so people read along. Um, forgot about that. I'm learning about this system. Uh, government wastes so much money. Yes, they do. They waste the money on themselves. Or, I mean, sometimes people complain about giving it away to other countries and stuff, but uh, I don't know. Uh, Stuart says, um, if trucks and those towing caravans would communicate better on uh, the UHF, overtaking would be so much smoother. Yes, that's right. Um, 
Um, oddly enough, they don't always communicate. Now, yeah, I, I've given up on in, even trying to um, – actually, I'm going to put my the phone down here so I can just see how this goes. So I can just – yeah. Um, I've given up on trying to talk to, you know, or call on the radio, hello, copy in the J car or whatever, um, because many, many times they don't have one on. I usually wait for them to call me, and if they call me, then, oh, oh hello, <laughs> you know, and we can call each other around. And that's the best way to do it because then at least um, uh, you're in communication. You're probably not going to stuff up then. So I think every caravan needs to have a radio. Oh, so, but, but saying that, many people, don't want uh, or don't like that because uh, so the caravans because there's a lot of crap you know people just yelling and screaming and, and oh, I, so I get that as well they want to turn it off but my words to that is then okay yeah I, I get that that there's crap but if you see somebody coming up just turn it back on then call us around then you can turn it back off you know so yeah what was around um. Thanks, Brad, for your donation. Kids have a coffee. We all like coffee, don't we? And Brad, you you going around at midnight. How many coffees do you have a night? You must yeah, chug, chug, chug. <laughs> I love coffee. In fact, uh, just before uh, I got here, I was just talking to the homeless truckie. He's having a 24-hour break. I won't say that what he's just bought, but he's bought some stuff for his videos. So um if you're, if you're not with homeless truckie, how could you not be? Go and check out homeless truckie on YouTube. He makes better videos than me. I mean, his videos are great. So anyway, um, Clayton says, I'm I'm really happy that many people are talking about road safety. We need to talk about more about this. Um, reach out to our road, uh, regional road infrastructure MPs and let them know what needs to be done. <coughs> so people talk about, um, is this a federal or state thing? I know federal um, uh, politics, they... they give money for state highways and stuff like that. Oh, hang on. Or is it state highways are all federal? All major highways are federal, and um, it's only the state roads are the state. I think that's how it goes. I need to do more research, I think. Shane says, hi again, John. I love these uh, live shows. Oh, really? I, <laughs> well, thanks. I, I wasn't sure how these uh, live videos go, but anyway, here we are. Jason says you need to be on that outback truck is not the uh, not a bad show that um, well you, you you might have saw I did the WI MacMaster and we interviewed the uh, the guys from the, uh, the outback truckers so I'm not talking about just Yogi Sludge and um, and who was it Yogi Sludge and um, Yogi Sludge oh Steve Graham who can how can I forget Steve anyway so uh, it, we interviewed also the guys who behind the scenes or the, the producers and stuff so. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, even if I wanted to, I can't. Um, yeah, no, never, never happened in this company. Um, and Brad says, um, one owner, Pride and Joy, uh, is another owner's lemon. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, by most trucks are bulletproof. There's always a lemon rolling off the factory. That's right. Just like cars and anything. Now, uh, Clayton says, um, they talk a lot about road safety, using trucks and triple M late at night. Oh, okay. Yes. I don't always get around to listen to that but yes mr donnie says the caravans need to have you actually turned on yes that's right they do and then greg says greg says have you driven across the famous bridge where the crocodiles in the water are waiting for you where is that bridge i don't know greg but i want to find it um i did a live video years ago in the northern territory and i was like croc hunting but um i don't know uh croc hunting i i, I, I want to find where is this yeah, but anyway, um, yes, I don't know that. Uh, let's see, where are we up to, Greg? Where's Greg? Um, hang on. Uh oh, I've lost where I am. Oh, here we are, here we are. So it's just still playing around with this, getting used to this, uh, you know, transmitting to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Uh, Shawnee says, uh, hi from Renmark in the Riverland. Well, Hey, Shawnee. Um, I passed there the other day, um, going over the um, Baringa Bridge there. I never go into Redmark, though, but I'm um, sure it's a nice place. Brad says, uh, if you heard what I hear of uh, from truck drivers, you wouldn't want to be on, on Channel 48. Yeah, 
uh, at least you have an alternative channel market on the back of your van. Um, yeah, some people sit on channel 40, um, sorry, channel 18, but ch going from 40 to 18, it's just so far, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe they should sit on channel 42 or something. So it's just easier for us to, um, to, to get around on and stuff like that. Uh, Nag Na says homeless is a great guy. Yes, he is. Yes. Ken is a great guy. Um, anyone I think we're, we're in cahoots now Ken and I Ken does great videos and we want to uh, help him get there uh, get the subs up and stuff like that so if you haven't already go and check out um, after this broadcast of course go and check out uh, homeless trucking I, I'm, you won't be disappointed um, not many on Facebook here uh, where are they all just disappeared YouTube are the more serious ones but aren't they yes um, which is flashing headlights to overtake a truck at night time that certainly helps. I know that helps around here. I'm on the humor, as you know, and so, yes, they all do that. And uh, Brad says, no, I made one coffee a night the other night. Uh, not healthy. Oh, okay. So not too many head calories. Mm. Okay. Um, Kelly uh, says, uh, I love that video. You and Ken, the homeless trucker in the South Bank. Yeah, that was a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, in fact, we were going to make one. I met up with him last, last night um, at Narandera, and I said to him, oh, we should go live together. And he's like, oh, anyway, um, maybe one day. Um, his, oh, no, I thought that was Facebook. <laughs> Shane says, uh, John, can you do a video on tying down loads? That could be tricky, but just, just, you remember I had all this trouble from, um, um, how to put it, getting in trouble showing people's loads and uh, yards and all that kind of stuff. So that's tricky. But what I can do is, is um, um, how's this load done down? We, we could even show his load. I don't know if you know if he's in the truck, but um, we might have a look at this load. If, anyway, <laughs> yes, I will try to do something like that, yes. Um, Mr. Back to Mr. Danny, uh, it's only in the main cities you are if it's crap. Yeah, they, 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 that's mainly true. Uh, once you're on the open road, yeah, it is a lot better. We've got somebody on Facebook, says Rod, says, um, be watching Ken, you're catching up. Um, Ken, you're catching up. Your videos are very good. Um, yeah, okay, thanks, um, Rod. Um, Brad says, if you heard one you were sure you wouldn't have wanted it. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Greg, uh, many... Many, uh, was it? There are many hundreds and hundreds of trucks on the road every year. Once had no experience, so don't give up if this is dream. That's right. There's lots of people trying to get into it. Um, it's difficult. Um, I, I do what I can to help people, but yeah. Uh, hit me up next time when you're in Mount Gambia. Have a coffee. Okay. Yep. Uh, it's extremely rare that we go to Mount Gambia. I don't know why, but we just, it's just, yeah, we just don't go. Oops, hang on. I'm going to turn away from the – give you – look at those pipes in the back there. <laughs> um, Mark on Facebook. Here's another Facebook person. Mark, uh, damn shame what happened uh, at uh, Ridgey on Friday. One of my old bosses, Big Bang, as well. Um, the only photos and videos I saw of that was um, uh, that um, – uh, K200. I don't know who else was involved. I, in fact, to be honest, I don't know anything about that. Um, I won't mention the company name and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, oh, look, it's, it's awful when any any accidents happen. Uh, Danny Fisher says, uh, that's Cahill Crossing in the Territory. Cahill Crossing, I must remember that. In fact, you know what? I've never been to Darwin. We've got to do a trip to Darwin. So, Darwin, come on, look out. Clayton says, uh, do you ha have uh, buy me a coffee like Ken? No, I don't. I, the only thing I have is the members area, which um, is $5 a month um, for people to join. And I show videos that I don't show on the main public area. Um, I was showing loading and unloading areas. I, I'm going to get back into that. I bought some spy glasses, but I can't get them to I can't. Oh, once I get them to work, these spy glasses, so the best is just sunglasses, and I can wear them and record. So I can actually sneakily, like, um, um, might be able to record some stuff to show people. No one's, no one's watching this. No one I know anyway. So, yes, maybe coming. Uh, John says, uh, how secure uh, assembly areas when leaving dollies and trailers when you break down road trains? They're pretty. Uh, I think years ago we had. 
we had a dolly stolen but it's it's pretty unusual that that something will go missing i have heard people steal trailers um like a fully loaded trailer with valuable stuff so kind of don't want to leave valuable stuff around but yeah so that's happened um yes um yeah always knows so yeah always someone that knows better trying to tie tie in loads yeah uh, it, it's i mean I, I can show you tying down loads and then uh, anyway i tie down loads how, how i've been trained and how i believe i'm always open to being shown some way uh, another be way that's better um i don't know everything and if someone's showed me a way i'm not the kind of person who who says oh, i i know how to do it and stuff like that hey if you want to show me a better way your way may be better and you know what if you're only 20 and you haven't even been driving long and you want to show me a better way maybe you've been showing a better way and your way is better so i'll listen to whoever i'm not um yeah ask eddie for a trip from adelaide to darwin well uh james james won't be watching but i can talk about james james is one of our good drivers he just got a trip he said to eddie the other day he said oh, I've, I've never been to darwin and then a couple of weeks later he's going to darwin so um i'm kind of jealous but i'll get to darwin sometime soon oh sorry soon been in here for four years and i haven't been i haven't gone so yeah uh rick says um kind of those rolls of steel sheets can cause serious damage when trucks are not tied down and seeing yes yes <laughs> oh imagine that boom back in there oh, you know all about it then let's go for a walk as i uh as it's saying this um imagine that yes look i've never had a load um move or whatever the only the only ever only thing that's ever happened is this is show the gate here so this is the gate that stops uh you can see up the top there so the loads basically um on the gate but but it has to be because is is that's one end and let's go all the way to the other end of the pipes these pipes are 13.5 meters long so as you just have to go this way because of the sun and as you'll see see they are the full length so there's no there's no room um yeah so that's why th those are like that so on the occasion i've had and uh, sometimes when you have smaller stuff and, and they wriggle forward so one piece might wriggle forward and trying to push its way through the gate and i think they were these oh i forgot how heavy they were but they were heavy maybe three ton each pipe and they were it was basically forcing itself and then as i'll show you it was amazing i couldn't believe it i had to get changes to stop it so let's just say if this is the pipe and and see this is this is quite um well it's, it's not very strong is it it's um yeah anyway it, it pushed its way through bent it and then snapped it that's how much force was pushing out so i had to get chains just to hang on to it grip around it otherwise it was it would have kept going now it wasn't moving like you know a meter every you know one hour or something like that it was yeah but it was moving so got to keep an eye on that ah uh, uh brad says um i've seen trailer doors open open at rest areas uh they want what's in them not the trailer itself oh wow far out well look you know people steal all sorts of stuff and uh, nothing's nothing's um yeah people just steal and stuff like that what kind of could just get a chop <laughs> oh, things i you know i know things anyway um Ted says uh slash curtains and trailers on the nullarbor is still commonplace really oh wow well i've um not seen that yet but uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't happen it just i haven't seen that um uh gavin says how did you go with your visitor from the uk oh sherilyn yes yeah, she, she, she put out that video um so i took sherilyn um in the truck with me just for a day while i loaded up a road train um we we're uh so we basically just going Qdale to Qdale. you know it was not going far and then we connected up the road train and then went up to up Greenland hill um we could go and up green out there um so uh, yeah she's already put that out uh, her channels are lorry diaries or long distance uh, long distance lorry drivers oh my goodness 
lorry drivers anyway on Facebook. Oh, sorry, on YouTube. Uh, Greg says, have you ever had to stop driving because the rain was too heavy or big storm stops you? Mm, I've had really, really strong rain where you're, you know, you're, you're, <laughs> what am I trying to do? So, you know, look between the, the, the droplets, but no. Um, yeah, yeah, I haven't st- I haven't, I haven't had to stop, but yes, it has been pretty bad. Um, there was one time, I think it was night time, and I was following another truck, and there was no fog line, and the rain was so heavy. I was, I was thinking, oh, I've just got to follow the truck. But if he comes off the road, I'm going to go off the road because I can't see anything. So, but no, I haven't had to stop. Um, Stuart says there's a promotion in Queensland called Truck Friendly, aimed at educating caravan and motorhome owners to use UHF to communicate with truckies. There's a uh, there is a truck friendly website. Oh, okay, sure. That's an interesting one. Actually, I, whoops, that's the truck that I'm sitting on. So I'm going to move this trailer. Uh, this, uh, anyway, he's going to go soon. Um, so um, I thought about making, oh, if I can get this, thought about making a, um, a video on, um, on educating different people about how to uh, use the UHF. Or just how to call because a lot of people don't know. Oh, that's that's a pity he left. Anyway, he's just going there now. So now there's nothing here. I'm gonna put this. I, I might go. I might try to go out into the sun. I just wasn't sure how to go. So I was gonna make videos. I did make a, a video some time ago about how to how to get your um uh. A, a truck or a road train or something behind your caravan. That was years ago. I haven't made one since, so um, I could make another one. And then I basically shared it around all the caravan sites and stuff like that. Um, it was received reasonably well. So, yeah. Uh, what's the word? Jeez, Brad, where, are you going to have a sleep? <laughs> you need to get some sleep. Um, have you seen the Yanks? No gates, no, uh, no gates on flat tops. The guards behind the cab seems more dangerous. Did they? Yeah, I, I watch a couple of those um, um, YouTube channels over there just to, you know, see how they do things and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, you know, it's funny. I, as I drive around and I think to myself, um, everybody over there in Europe and stuff like that, they're pulling one trailer and all they do is pull one trailer, unload that, and then reload that and stuff like that. And it's like, um, wow. You've got it easy. One trailer. I, I go somewhere, I unload two trailers, and then reload two trailers, and then go, so we're pulling, you know, are we are we only double money? Actually, oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's just what we're used to doing. Um, Jason from Facebook, another Facebook. Uh, did you pull up at KFC on the long trips? Do you pull up at KFC on the long trips that's good, eating hot and cold? I don't – I try not to have too much KFC. It's, um, yeah, <laughs> KFC. Uh, who, who doesn't like KFC? We all like KFC, but, uh, yeah, we try not to. Uh, Clayton. Clayton's a very generous person. Uh, I did the same for Ken so he could enjoy several coffees. <laughs> well, thanks, Kate, Clayton. We do like our coffee, don't we, uh, truck drivers and stuff for that. Some people – I said to Ken, you should get your own um, espresso machine or something in the cab because he's got a microwave. He could do it all. I do have a kettle, um, but um, well, thanks, Clayton. That's um, very much appreciated. Um, and um, Danny says, what's your favourite run from where and where to? Oh, I know exactly what my favourite run is. And in fact, um, so we've got a guy coming over from um, America um, it's uh, in May, uh, between May, oh, I won't even tell you when because the video has got to come out first, but he's coming over and he's going to do a story on me uh, driving from one side of, of Australia to another. Now, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, uh, so he's going to bring his camera gear and stuff like that. He's got a big, big, I don't know, he's got 800,000 subscribers. So we're going to do a video. So And I said to him, the, my, my favourite trip is uh, going from Perth 
which is uh, picking up fencing wire and going to the farms of uh, Queensland because there it's the best. Actually, I'll just turn around and some more trucks pulled up. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely the best there. So, um, actually, I wonder if I can just, uh, how do I change the camera? Hmm. Cam, guess, so do I go send? I just wanted to, um, let's see if, hey, there we go. Okay. Then we can, uh, hang on, how do we go back? Oh, great. I can't see how to go back. Oh, bye. oh there we go. There we go. Here we go. All right. Okay. Um, so that's what's happening here anyway. Um, actually, we'll have a look at the other trucks. While we're, oh, look at this. Isn't that pretty cool? Now, that's some, um, that's some artwork on the back there. I was just sitting here, but yeah, anyway, so, so getting back. So the, um, the best kind of trip is, is doing that, um, that run because basically it's, it's the longest run. I think it's about four and a half, 5,000 kilometers. And then you still got to get back from there. Um, and, um, but sometimes the cool thing is when you go to these farms, they've got like America, um, what's it, helicopters or all sorts of stuff like that, that you could actually, um, you know, maybe they'll take us up on. Oh, do you remember that video I did with the, uh, uh, where the, the little kid, he had the guns? And so we had a bit of a shoot of the guns, and I thought, yeah, wouldn't that be cool? So that's that's my favourite trip. Uh, Rick says, um, big tighty, was it big tightly rolls you've carried? Uh, you put two books of books and chain. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, I've seen those ones, those big rolls and stuff like that. Maybe time for a redo, yes. Um uh was it half an hour man i'm off to bed oh, okay okay friend. um is it okay don't panic on an emergency stopping ramp don't have a panic on emergency you've been have seen before i've never used one that'd be cool to go in one just to have a have a crack you know see what it's like <laughs> i love the dirty ch uh chook uh but during the week when i'm uh yes rick um uh, I think I know this guy. Um, he's good at uh, where's a hat and some uh, knots. Oh, is that is that what you're talking about? This this truck? We're talking about that. Um, Danny says um, food for me on the road from Fix South Australia. Healthy or good, fresh, home style uh, burger from a small takeaway shop. Yeah, yeah, that'd be okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, Subway is what I usually try to have. Uh, yeah, Subway is always good. Um, we'll go for a walk down here. Uh, what's it? Uh, LP says, I just got my HR Road Ranger last week for the first time. Well, that's good. It's always good to have an open uh, license so you can basically drive anything. Yep, good stuff. Brad says, Nice truck, oh, that is nice, so wasn't it? Uh, Clayton's again, uh, both you and Ken are decent blokes, uh, and my wife and I enjoy your vlogs. I hope you're, hope you subscribe, uh, join, yes, join the homeless truck here. This uh, building, we've got to get him over to 10,000. Um, oh, was it uh, the guy that's filming for the John O? Um, hang on, what did I? Oh, you're talking about the guy? Yeah, so his his channel is um, um, Downy Live. That's the guy who's going to be joining me. So Downy Live, and um, that'll be quite a lot of fun, I think. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to work out how many people do we have watching. Oh, can I tell? I don't know. I'm still learning all this. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pitney. Picnic on off ramp, no good. Oh, yes, don't uh, don't do that. Um, Subway has got expensive though. Yeah, they they have uh, increased their their price a little, haven't they? But it's good healthy meal on the road. A bakery can be much better though. Love a salad roll. Yes, those are good. Having a salad roll and stuff like that. 
um, especially when you get to make it. It's a bit like Subway, you know, you get to make make your Subway and stuff but how you like it. But, um, yeah. So here's a few more people coming in. Probably wondering, who am I? They might be thinking I'm one of those truck photographers. <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, let's see, where are we up to? Uh, Greg says, uh, remember the last time you bought yourself a lottery ticket? Gee, Greg. Um, I don't remember. It was too long ago. Oh, look, we got some Indians. Should we go and say hello? <laughs> uh, uh, LP says, uh, I got my HR last week for the first time uh, in a freight liner. Wow, that must that must have been, that would have been hard. Uh, it blows my mind that in one year I can go for MC uh, and convince the company and convince the company to go pull into it. Well, yeah, but don't be too hard on yourself. I, I, this is how I got my license. I went from uh, my HR, and I never drove a HR. I drove it maybe once or twice. And then years later, after having not driven at all, except for a little three-ton truck or something crap like that, um, I went for my HC because I thought that's what you have to do is go for your HC after. And... Um, and they said, oh, do you want your HC or MC? And I said, oh, I thought I'd have to go for my M uh, HC first. And they said, no, no, you can go straight for your MC. Oh, well, I'll just do that. Oh, sorry, first of all, I asked how much um, how much um, was the price difference. And it was a lot cheaper to go for your H, uh, sorry, your MC over your uh, HC. So I thought, oh, well, I'll do that. So that's, um, that's where that happened. So I went straight for my MC. Um, got a job literally the following day pulling road train tippers. Oh, well, actually, the job entailed pulling uh, triple road trains up north for toll. But of course, once they found out that I actually got my license just the day before, um, well, the induction stopped. How do you like that? So, yes, so that, uh, that didn't end in well, did it? Um, anyway, so luckily I joined another company and then they gave me a go. I, I was honest with them and said, look, I've got no experience, but, uh, they said, oh, that's fine. We'll, we'll train you up and stuff like that. Kelly just subscribed to Ken's channel. Oh, good. Thanks for that. Um, Grumpy says 59 watching. Well, the, the, the oh, hang on, really on. So the difference with, I can see 70, but that's, that's showing Facebook and YouTube. So. It'll be going up and down. Uh, Keith says, uh, Roadkill Cafe, just gas cooker on the tray. I've seen a lot of people do that. I don't like to do that because I'm too lazy to cook. That's why I get married. <laughs> did, oops, did that come out? Oops. No. Um, how many days in one trip are you away from home? Oh, on average, minimum two weeks. But... Um, uh, yeah, so it's, it's all over the place. Uh, sometimes I could up to five weeks. You could cook a steak uh, up on breaks. And I love a good steak sandwich. And that's what people do. People, um, people will pull over and they'll get their, they'll get their, uh, hang on, I'll stand in front of the camera for a second. No, no, they'll, hang on, so you can still see what's going on. So they'll get out there and they'll get their steaks and I've seen their stove and stuff like that and they're cooking up a storm and, you know, especially oversized people, sorry, oversized, not oversized bad people, but you know what I mean? Oversized people, that, you know, just some dig in a hole now. The people that do oversized, uh, you know, so they're, they're going to park up um, after, you know, sunset and stuff like that. So they've either got the, the stove, or, sorry, the fire in the ground and stuff like that. Um, and you see them all cooking up a big storm. Now, I might be able to get into cooking if I did that, but I don't know. It's like um, I work long hours, as you know. We do BFM. Now we don't have to. We don't have to work those long hours. If I want to pull up um, after ten hours, I do. I work to how I feel. So, um, yeah, uh, it, it's not all about just I have to do fourteen hours because that's how much we got to do. Our company doesn't push us. We get the freight there when it gets there. Simple as that. I know other companies might push and stuff like that, you know, might have market, but not us. We simply just do what we want to do. 
Yeah. Um, but when you're when you think of a standard role for seventy nine dollars a foot long, it's probably still good value. And that's uh, yes, yes. And and what I used to try to do with a foot uh, a foot long because you always get foot long. I'd have half for lunch, half for dinner. But then sometimes you get a bit hungry, and then you have it all for lunch, and then you got to go a bit more later. Sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, Sea Dog says hi, Jono, uh, Steve-O, and Big Dags watching from uh, One Two Nine Victoria. I liked your WA feed show. Good job in the video. Oh, thanks uh, for that. Um, that was the first video that I got a video editor to, to help me out, and so Nico is going to be doing the videos from now on. And I tell you what. The one that's coming out soon. Oh, yeah, it should be good. Uh, okay, and take care. It's always great seeing you. I'm looking forward to the next one. Obviously, you've got to go. Okay, that's fine. Um, anyway, thanks, Clayton, for joining us. Uh, I joined the Army with my car license, sat, um, sat a license from my MR, and when I was d discharged, I had HC with only truck and dog but, um, work. Um, got out into a float cart and 60 tons. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I did float work. Um, one of the first kind of jobs I did. That was that was pretty cool. Um, as a motor was it as a motorbike camper, four wheel drive camper. I have a compact kitchen I use for driving, but luckily it's only a day run for me. If I was away for the weekend, I would have a camp kitchen in the truck actually you know I, i'm a bit confused brad was it you who who went to the um no it wasn't you who did, who did the, the um kyberum truck show was it i thought that was the other uh aussie average trucker oh i remember watching we were a video and one of you just went to the, the truck show and i you went on the motorbike Slim says, uh, hey, John, I just want to shout out to the dickhead B double driver who nearly killed a road worker on the highway at Pentland Hills last week. Hey, boys have no place in our industry. Um, well, I'm not sure if he's watching, but uh, I'm sure he'd know who he was. It's no good if people are just driving like a cowboy crazy. Kevin says, how do you control spending your spending by your way? When the, when the price is so high well we don't we just if you want something you gotta pay what you what you what you you know it, it's shocking you know where was i cobar i think it was in cobar i shouldn't have hassled around that much but i went in there and i wanted this um um salad tray you'll see it on the next video in fact and i went there because the ampole stopped doing it and so i had to buy this, this other place and it was um I think it's fifteen dollars. Oh, fifteen dollars? You're joking. So fifteen dollars for this small cold meat salad. Yet if I wanted to get like a, a bundle of greasy, crappy food, it probably only cost me five dollars. I said, man, you guys don't make it easy for us. Anyway, look, I say it how it is. I don't really hold back. So um, I wanted to buy two of these, and I thought thirty dollars for some lettuce. Well, admittedly, there's a bit more than just lettuce, but I was not happy. So I bought one. But I tell you what, when I was eating it down the road, it was actually better that value than the place I usually get the Southern Cross, which they had salad trays. They were seven ninety five when it started, then it went to nine ninety five and ten ninety five, eleven. Now it's uh, twelve ninety five. It's thirteen dollars, and you get less than this one. This one for fifteen dollars had heaps. I mean, it took me a long time to all finish all that salad. It was not just yeah, it was pretty jammed in there. So wasn't too bad let's uh get back to the comments yeah i was on the bike haven't released the camping side of things ah oh, yeah was you yes okay i'm a motorbike rider too as you might have seen i've took my motorbike from perth to um to uh to melbourne now so david and i can get around on the motorbike my son who's young uh, so much better on the motorbike i hate cars um yeah, Gavin, it's very hard. If you need to buy something, you have to pay the money and they know it's overpriced. Yeah, I mean, it's, of course, it's not the shopkeepers. It's, um, yeah, it's other people who buy it and stuff like that. It's uh, get a different view from over here. I don't, I can't really, as, as uh, what do you call it? 
zoom in, I don't think, but anyway. Keith says, have you got electric smell out of the cab yet? Oh, just about. Apple, was it Apple cores? Apple cores, oh, I see. Apple cores, great for absorbing odors. Oh, isn't that interesting? Gets rid of the cigarette smoke as well. Interesting. Okay. Um, uh, let's go for a walk. So I've, um, uh, it's pretty well gone. Pretty well gone. Uh, it, I tell you what, it did last a long time. So, yeah. Um, every time I get in the truck after being out of it, you, you'd smell it and you think, oh, man, you know, when's this going to go? It just it just didn't go. So, But anyway, it's pretty well gone. Like every time I get in the truck now, I don't really smell it. So that's good. Oh, use those engine brakes. Oh, it's good out. i tell you what, that tanker is clean. It's like a mirror. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Um, G'day, Jono. What's the worst amount of flat tyres you've had in a day? Oh, I've already been asked this today, but anyway, we'll ask again. So um, I'm, I, I don't even remember if I've even had two flat tyres in a day. I'm pretty sure the worst is one. Um, I, no one likes changing a hot tyre. A tire on a hot day. Now that has happened to me, and um, oh, wee, that's no good. You yeah, change and you're sweating like yeah, and no, I just wanted to get it done and stuff like that. So that's no good. But anyway, um, what else have we got here? Yeah, Do you have to worry about buying cigarettes. No, I don't. That's right. So no one knows this. I'm not a smoker, so um, there's no smoking for me. Um, but I do have chocolate. So my advice is chocolate. So if you look at my fridge, you'll see chocolate and coke. Oh, yeah. I love uh, chocolate, Coke, chips, crap. You wonder I'm not fat as anything. So, yeah, pretty bad. Jason says, it looks like the old uh, hot chips, $2 uh, feed, uh, mate, still leftovers. Now, struggling. Oh, is it $10 struggling to feed? Yes, yes. That is pretty bad. Um, yeah. Actually, See, let's, let's have a look at the, the old menu for um, the Hungry Jacks here. Uh, where's the menu part of others? Oh, oh this is an odd looking one. Oh, that's all the drinks and stuff. Anyway, um, oh, I see, I'm on the wrong side. There's all the crap and stuff like that. Actually, to be honest, I, I have uh, Hungry Jacks a fair bit, so probably a bit too much uh, than I should, uh, but anyway. Jono checks his tyres re, um, re recently, frequently, frequently, yes. <laughs> Tire bro. <laughs> uh, oh, look how he's a caravan pulling up. That's it, block the, block the road so we can't get in. Um, Basically, he's had four uh, blowouts all at once. Oh, hang on. That's right. I did have two, and it was the drive tyres too. So, oh, look at this sun in the way. So what happened was... Um, um, I blew one drive, but I didn't know about it. And then the second, but once the second one blew, of course, it just dropped the axle. Now I've got nothing, and I'd already used spares. Um, there's a bit of a funny story with that one because I did, did tell people that I might need some drive tires. Anyway, I, I, I can't say anything bad, but um, yeah, so I had to put a spare tire on. I was really heavy, so I basically had to just go uh, bobtail from uh, what's it, Wyantra, which is Queensland near Kanamala, and basically had to go bobtail just so I can get a few new tyres and uh, put those on. There's the old truck. Look at that. It's kind of clean. Um, I love, love, was it love order? Carl says, um, hi, John, what's the interstate rate like in the Austin per kilometre? So we get, uh, what would you say? So we get 54 cents. And um, I, I understand that lots of people get a lot higher, you know, up to 60 cents and stuff like that. But um, but we get paid per hour when we're out of the truck. We get a paid daily rate if you're sitting around. We get, a, we get paid all these things that other drivers don't. So talking to other drivers, um, even Ken, 
they might have a uh, if they have a multi delivery or something like that, they might get paid um, X amount of money, like forty dollars per per drop. Well, we don't. We just start the clock from when we get out of the truck, and the hours. If it takes us two or three hours, well, we get paid all that. So, um, yeah, I like that. Jason says the burgers are better at Hungry Jack's. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I agree with that. Aaron says, will you ever polish the bull bar or do you prefer the current look? Oh, let's have a look at that. Um, I go back, I think, two years ago, they had these people come in and they were supposed to polish all of the bull bars and also the tanks. Let's have a look at the tanks of what they're like now. Yeah, see, this here, I mean, they, they really need to be polished. Um, and then let's have a look up here. I started on it. Oh, you can't even see. Um, yeah, there's no... I like these sides here. Don't look too bad. But, um, yeah. Look, this truck is not the newest. So, you know, you can't expect it to be, like, beautiful. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing that's, I mean, I, I washed it in, in Perth, but unfortunately it was a bit of a sprinkle. And so, yeah, but all this, all this chrome comes out really nicely, but yeah, got a bit, uh, anyway, ah, uh, you know, if it always happens like that, you know, you wash your truck and it's going to rain. Um, Ignore my Volvo ignorance. Um, uh, what does your truck still have a physical? What? Have a physical steering column to the steering column box? Um, is there feedback when you blow a tire like in the old place? Hang on. I, oh, does your truck still have a physical steering wheel column to the steering wheel box? Um, in the old days, what you have a. Um, I'm trying to work out what you mean by that, Brad. I think you mean if you blow it. Look, I've never blown a steer in this truck, so I don't know what it's like if you, if that were to happen. Um, yeah. I, uh, my guess is if I could keep it on the road. So, yeah. Kelly, subscribe to Ken's Tracky uh, channel. Thank you. Thank you. It's very good. Um, whereas... Um, Subways are my favourite too. Great stuff, great stuff. And uh, Jason, uh, I love the old Max uh, Mac Bulldogs up front. Oh yeah, uh, some people, you know, you can have a ten or you know the light behind the sign and stuff like that. I look at all the bugs and stuff. I, I kind of cleaned this. Well, I just kind of roughed it off, but yeah, didn't do the best job, did I? It's striking my spotlights and stuff like that. I tell you what, cab overs, that's the um that's the really bad part. People always um got bugs all over. I mean see look at this. It's just gonna be bug city and right up to the window, at least from my window, you won't find many bugs up there. So although look at this, you know, even on the mirrors and stuff. Hey, does it feel like I'm on this drone? Look at this. You go really low and you go right up high. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Okay. <laughs> oh, so, sorry, man. Typos. The Volvo has no physical link from the wheels. No physical link. Really? Oh. Didn't know that. Um, how many years have I had the truck? Um, gee. I'm losing count. I think it's surely it's only three. I think it's it's a 2011, so it's getting old. Oh, that's right. How many people are, are we are we boring here? Uh, 76. What is you guys? Anyway, I'm going to keep this going until you guys um, give up on me. Um, one of our other members, uh, Kylie, she wants to meet up. So she said, if we can. Um... Thanks, Lee. Hang on. I should switch cameras. I oh, know it's covered off in the 
Um, so Kylie wants to meet up, but she's working right now as a bus driver, so she can't uh, meet up until maybe through, oh, was it six o'clock? So I don't know, we'll just keep going. I don't have to be in Sydney till tomorrow morning. What's your favourite and worst freight to haul or just to restrain? Favourite? Most favourite? Um, oh, look, the, the, the favourite, the easiest is just, of course, a, um, uh, what do you call it? The 40-foot um, uh, container. You just put it on, on street uh, speed pins and there you go. So that's never a problem. In fact, that's what I think I've got in um, uh, picking up from Sydney, one of those. Now, the other one, so the other trailer, but tomorrow morning when I get there, it's probably going to be um, going to be too early to do anything. So I'll basically deliver and then um, uh, come back empty and then grab the other one and then pick up the footy foot container later. And what's the worst freight to, to load? Um, worst freight to load? I don't know. Um, worst freight to load? Worst freight to load? <laughs> So I don't know. Is a happy Indian? Some of, some of the Indian drivers uh, are very good. You know, they're just happy and happy to help out and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we all have good, good or bad experiences with um, Indians and stuff like that. Oh, there's no interesting. Huh. There's a there's a full Winston you. Twentieth of April. Oh, wow. Well, if you need milk, it's uh, it's right down there. So come to Maroolan and you might be able to get some milk. Ah, uh, let's uh, catch up on some. Rick says new motor recently. Oh yes. Well, I got that rebuild. So that was the beginning of last year and stuff like that. Would you go and visit? I said, would you go and visit Ken when he comes home? Um, Ken comes home. Uh, what do you mean by that? You'll have to. Uh, he's in he's in um, Melbourne right now, having a twenty four hour break, so you can nor stalk him out. <laughs> um, thanks, Grumpy. Yeah, I can see the time and the time of day now. I just got to. Yeah. Um, yeah. No shards connecting the steering wheel to the box. Oh, look out! Ken has just sent an image. Let's see what what he sent. Ah, oh, look at that. Wow. Um, I see, um, fifty. Get it in the uh, um, oh, that you're talking about the milk, hopefully. <laughs> uh, in my case, I hate restraining metal, but my favorite is restraining freight, uh, is trucks for cars because they take little time to, yeah, they pretty well do. Um, just, um, well, if it's cars or the small, the small trucks and stuff like that, just um, one strap around each of the tires and that's it, off you go. And maybe a truck, you could put a, a chain around the front and back axle, and there you go, done. What's the worst loads you've had to carry? Worst loads? I'm trying to remember what nightmare loads have I had. Why do I not remember bad stuff? Um, yeah, I don't remember. Oh, I'll have to think about that one. Uh, Gavin says back overseas. Um, yeah, look, he's going. When's he due back overseas? I think it's a few more months. It's awful when he goes home. Yeah, Ken goes uh, back to the Philippines. How many 908s do they have left? they got three. But there's there's talk that we're selling trucks. And, and then the other day, um, Eddie goes to me, oh, yeah, we're selling you a truck while I'm trying to polish it. I'm like, oh, oh, really? Oh, oh wow. So, am I going to get a new truck? When am I going to get a new truck? Yes. When do I get the new truck? Who knows? So, um, that would be good to get a new truck. Or, yeah, anyway, we'll see what happens. Who knows? Nobody knows. Last live, was it? 
last live somebody left Welcome Milk for other chuff. <laughs> yes, maybe. I guess you can't hear the sound of this truck pulling by too much because the microphone that I'm wearing is under my shirt. Um, let me just go back if I can. It's always, this is kind of a bit of a hard one to, um, okay, so we're going back there. It's a bit of a hard one to actually um, change the camera view and stuff like that. So, oh, as you can see by the sun, it is uh, getting down. Well, it's probably, probably kind of getting down where you guys are too, but sort of say hi, be in front of the camera for a change. Um, well, have we been going for an hour? You crazy people. Have you got nothing better to do? <laughs> anyway, if you want to ask some questions, otherwise people are going to be switching off to the golf or something like that. Um, just to let you know as well, why am I doing here? What am I doing here? Why am I going on for so long? Because all I've got to do is go to Sydney and um, nothing else much happening. So I thought I'd say hello to you guys, you know, spend it with you guys. So, yep. Uh, let's see, electric model truck. Electric model truck. Do not want to see those. No, no thanks. You can keep those. Um, yep. No thanks. Uh, let's see. Been great, man. Glad I was able to catch a live stream. Look forward to the next one off to bed, uh, off to Sesame Street. Well, I said, it's Sunday night. Surely can't be too bad. So, yes, yeah, good night. Um, sleep well. And what's the time now? So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, six, six hours sleep or so, and then get up at half an hour. I don't know how, how close you live to the yard. So, All right, um, so uh, any other Chris suggestions, comments, talks, or whatever? Um, Rick says, what did we go? Uh, thanks, John. We don't want you to be late for 6 p.m. meetup. But yeah, well, that's if that's if Kylie can make it. She said she wants to make it. Um, let's get the bikes in the background there. So she wants to make it, but what if she's had a rough day at work, a rough day at the office? So she, who knows? She might think, oh, I can't be bothered going. So we'll see how we go. If she doesn't make it, then that's fine. I'll just continue on. And um, I think we're going to go to Peasant's Nest or something. Now, I'll put the phone down over here again. You can watch people filling up. Isn't that exciting? Oh, it goes that way. So uh, what else? Um, Kim Highway's a joke. Hang on. Let's just bring that up. Kim Highway's a joke. Well... Maybe. Um, uh, so, oh, Mr. Donnie says, uh, time for dinner. Wife made a pork roast. A oh, pork roast? Where do you live? Uh, send me your address. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, sounds good. No, that's the issue. It's quiet on a Sunday night, Monday night, uh, Monday morning. The, the um, cowboys are really push it. So no. Oh, I see when you got back. Yes. Let's go watch out for the cowboys. Do you know, do you like that meme that um, I was, years ago, people, uh, is the meme, and it says, um, too bi was it? people were too busy watching the cowboys, uh, they didn't see the Indians coming or something like that. I thought it was funny. Um, but uh, was it, um, what beer do you prefer? What beer do I prefer? I'm more of a bourbon and scotch kind of person, the wine and stuff like that. I could have that all night. But if it's beer, to be honest, when it's really hot, any beer is good. If it's like 40 degrees and you're, you're so tired, mate, any beer tastes good. But Great Northern, um, I don't mind Corona. I haven't had a crown for a while. So, um, yeah, <laughs> anything. I hope people are okay with this orientation as well. Uh, I did this mainly this orientation because it was uh, I'm transmitting to Facebook as well, and people on Facebook and a lot of people on YouTube were going to be watching it in this way anyway. So I did it this way. If you're watching on your TV, well, just just slide <laughs> slide the TV around. No, anyway. Um, what else have we got? Rick says picture. 
petrol prices in Sydney are up for school holidays. Oh, are they? Actually, to be honest, I thought the petrol prices, where was I last? Was it Perth? It was some town I, I saw and I thought, oh, wow, a dollar eighty or something. I thought that was pretty cheap. So I don't know what kind of prices, what kind of price they are where you live. I've lost uh, how to get this down. There we go. Um, how about Heineken? Um, that's okay. Uh, as I said, I'm pretty easy going. I'll drink whatever you know. People give give me a beer, I'll, I'll have it. But uh, I'm not a big drinker in the way that uh, I get tipsy pretty easily. And, uh, and unless it's uh, early enough, I'm not going to have beer. Um, it's got to be like probably no later than six o'clock. I know this sounds like a bit of a bowser, but I'll wake up with a hangover. Um, if I have two beers, I get pretty giggly, and three beers, I'll probably want to just go to sleep. <laughs> I'm shocking. So, yeah. yeah. I was surprised when you were... Anyway, you guys did talk. Uh, $2.36. Um, well, that's that's no good. Actually, I did see two dollars thirty the other day, but I thought that was only for a short time. So, wow! I'd go for a walk over there to, through the shop and stuff like that. But anyone who know who goes to Maroolan knows that the um, it's just shocking, shocking um, what do you call it? Reception around here. So I've got to be careful of where to put the phone, otherwise it just go grainy and crappy on stuff like that. One cheaper independent station. Yeah, you, you can look around for the um, more independents and stuff like that. Anyway, what am I going to do for dinner? I'm here. I, I actually kind of thought about getting more of a proper meal, but um, uh, yeah, now yeah, who's this? Uh, I'll have to get back to that after. Um, yeah, so um, meal, I wanted like a more of a sit down proper counter meal or something like that, but um, um, yeah, let's see what happens about that. HRS area, bad reception, great work, Telstra and the government. Yeah, look, um, I've got one of those cell phone goes in my truck, so I've got good reception wherever we go. Well, not everywhere, but you know what I mean, it's pretty good. Um, but um, like here, why is it that most BPs you go into, you know, you want to play on your phone if you're on the toilet or something, and you got stuff all reception? So, yeah, it's no good. Steak and veg for dinner. Look, at vegetables is always good. Steak, I, I prefer seafood. A good steak is good, of course, but, um, um, yeah. So, anyway. What's the worst road you've ever driven on? Worst road. Oh, look, most of the highways. Most of the highways. Uh, worst road. Look, New South Wales. I don't know what it is about New South Wales roads. So many roads in New South Wales are just stuffed. Like, like um, I don't know if you can see, like, uh, even over here. I mean, just, just I don't know if you can see where I'm sit, where I am right now. The concrete, it's just like every concrete le is all different kind of levels. Um, uh, the roads are a bit like um, Pothole City. Um, but but you, like you drive around Daniloquin, that's one example. Just rough as, rough as goes around. Wagga's the same. Um, um, just, really, just pick a city. It's shocking roads. Um, Queensland roads are, are pretty bad. They're like the road surface is is smooth, but they're just like this and up and down because of the um the, the soil gives way and it all gives it. Away. And then you got the roads. That's right, where bits of it are given way. So it's like potholes everywhere. But the road surface is good, but the but the road the yeah, it's just shocking. So all over the place. I can't name a specific one, but that's bad. But um yeah. Steak, steak sandwich. Actually, minute steak. That's not too bad an idea. Oh, what's the time? It's five o'clock. So in in the BP, they usually have the Bay Marie's and stuff like that. That's not too bad. What what is that? Oh, I got like Hungry Jacks as well. Uh, I and Subway. I had an argument with Subway on the other side. I usually when I get Subway, I say, "Can you put it put it in two wraps?" 
and what that means is make the foot long to to uh, to six inches. And they said, uh, "Oh no, sorry, we can't do that." I said, "What do you mean? I travel all over Australia, getting subway everywhere I go, and you're the first person who said that." No, sorry, we can't do that. We have to charge you two six foots. No, you don't do that. I oh, actually it happened in Cobar too. Um, I complained to head office, and then head office spoke to the manager, and then they called me in, and it was all okay. They were just just got told wrong. So there's nothing wrong with Cobar subway. But anyway, so I'm just making sure you understand that. Do you have a sat phone in the prime mover? No, we've got a truck phone, which I never use. I don't like to use. It's, um, I just struggle to hear people on it. When I say hear, like like the audio wise, because I've always got headphones on and that's, that's my hands free and stuff. I've seen on Facebook, Slows is selling his truck. Well, he just put out a video explaining that, that he's, that he's, he's, he's getting, um, what's the word? Interest, uh, was it? Uh, expressions of interest. So, He's looking at selling it, but he hasn't decided that he's going to sell it. So uh, that's where he's at. Um, it's not like he has to sell it. Because he's talking about it. He's got some tax bill he's got to pay. And so um, that's what that was about. Atlantic salmon is my favourite. Yeah, look, so you, you go to pubs and stuff like that, and sometimes you get a salmon meal is really nice, and other times it's not. So it can be hit and miss. Then again, I like calamari, and sometimes you get have calamari, and um, calamari can just be just shocking. So um, that's hit and miss too. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's really difficult to uh, to get the right one. Um, so Keith says, still happy to shout you a drink when you're in Perth next. Yes, Keith. Um, man. I struggle for time when I go to Perth. Perth, when I go, sorry, when I go to Perth, so I've got family in Perth. I've got my own house. I've got a house in Melbourne, but in, in Perth, I've got, got uh, Dad's living in my house there. And so I usually try to go home, have a uh, meal and stuff with Dad. I used to be editing videos when I'm in Perth. Um, but, yeah, sometimes if I'm, if I'm going to be stuck at the BP because I've got to stick with a freight or something overnight, definitely. Um, do you know how to contact you unless I remember your name and just try to drop you a comment? So, oh, or unless you contact me on Facebook Messenger and then at least I have you, your, your your details there and I can, yeah. Um, make that two, Jono. Uh, make that two. Oh, sorry, did I miss Kelly? What was that about two? Do you have a sat phone? Make that two, Jono. Um, sat phone. Yeah, well, I've got two phones, yeah. So my phone and the truck phone. I think that's what you mean. Uh, the new old hi highway, um, Cunnings, Cunningham's, Cunning Cunningham Highway. Uh, yeah, new old highway. Um, I don't think that's too bad. Uh, I know in sections it is, but um, yeah, I thought thought it was. Uh, it's uh, up and down, isn't it? You know, you just don't know. Um, I'll shout you a drink as well. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're supposed to meet up, and every time you're busy, Kelly. Anyway, um, I will try to make it. it well, what, what the, like I did meet up with um, Peter Dunn, Paul Dunn. Oh, um, we meet up. We meet up, and um, that was great. And I said, oh, I wonder when we meet up, we got to make a photo so we can, you know, post it to, uh, you know, saying, you know, the, girl, the meet up. And um, he turned up and. Well, I haven't seen him around uh, for a while, so I hope he's okay. But, uh, yeah, thanks, Kelly. We'll definitely do that. Um, more comments, people. More comments. <laughs> no. Oh, look, it is getting quiet on a Sunday night, isn't it? Uh, nothing happened behind us. Maybe we should go for another walk again. Actually, even back here, uh, there's less trucks. So let's take this off. Oh, look out, there's another comment. I wish, you know, my eyesight, you know, tell me if this has happened with you as well, but I'm sure it'll happen some someday. Yes, we've got to get together, everybody. Uh, anyway, so um, just go back a few years ago, I did an eye test and my eyes turned out to be perfect. What a surprise, you know. And then immediately after I had that eye test, um, I started, started going downhill. Only... Um, uh for close-up like so for reading and i um 
I've never had a problem with my eyes. Like my eyes, uh, long distance or anything further, I, have, I can just look everywhere. It's just perfect, perfect eyesight. So, which is good. I don't need any anything for driving. But if I want to do close up, especially working on something, I've got to put this on. But I'm too cheap to um to to buy a good set. I just what was this? Ten or twenty dollars from BP? Ah, eh, that's all you need. Um, I know how to grade glasses from years ago. So, yeah. Um, can we vote you for Prime Minister ASAP? <laughs> ASAP. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> oh, how many, I don't know how you've become a, all that kind of stuff, but, um, <laughs> you know, I have spoken to different people who got into Parliament and stuff like that, and, um, and, and you know, when you go to vote people in, you, you, you think they've got good intentions, and then they say that, when you get into parliament and stuff, then people um, lose their way because they get, uh, how to put it, people throwing money at them, this and that, and there's all sorts of reasons, and they become, well, not always corrupt. Oh, look at this one. This is cool. An old uh, 104. When I, wow. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Uh, some people who get into Parliament and stuff like that, they have, might have good intentions, but uh, actually, what am I saying? That's a K200. It just looks on. So, yeah. Um, we're getting old, 58. I know that feeling. Yes. Oh, not long now before I'm 58. How old do you think I am? How old am I? Oh, where, can I put this down somewhere? And just go up like this. Oh, now you got too much brightness in the background. We just can't win, can we? Let's just put it this way. Oh, that is it. Anyway, I'm sitting right beside the truck here. Um, that happens with the eyes being late 40s onwards. Yes, probably, and that's what's happened. Anyway. Don't be old timer. Don't be old timer. I think you're Greg. Um, I'm 100. So like 100. Uh, uh, if you don't stop it, it will. Uh, was it? And I still have good eyes. If you don't stop it, you will go blind. Doesn't matter. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, the old uh, uh, myths and stuff like that. Purpose of politics. Yes. Why? Um, I don't know why. Why people can't just, you know, you get into politics. You want to help, and you want to do your best, because you want to make changes. But then people just get corrupt, and. Um, well, did you know um, this is this is one thing that's that's deep on my heart. Um, uh, did you know in the like the Commonwealth Constitution it says you know we the people. Um, it talks about anyway we the people. We put the government into power. We've lost our way uh, a lot. You know when when um, when that pandemic came about and stuff like that and and we were doing what the government said uh and, and we were all like oh we have to do what they said and stuff like that but it's we that hold uh, we that hold all the power um we vote them in to do our bidding we don't vote them into well what are they going to tell us to do next and stuff like that we have to do whatever they say it's not it doesn't work that way um so i don't know we we, we seem to think that they we put them into power and just hope they do the right thing by us. But, but it doesn't. Anyway, it's it's just all sort of messed up nowadays. Um, have you ever run tippers in WA? A lot of people say it's flooded, uh, and lots of work with tippers. But I haven't found anyone looking for drivers. Ah, oh, well, um, I started uh, <laughs> I started JJ Hawkins, so you know the red red. Uh, tippers and that's the company that gave me a go when I said look I, I haven't got any experience and stuff like that so they took me on I, I was in the truck and dog for the first um, uh, first week and a half and then I said oh this is too easy you know give me a road train so they did and um, I, there was no turning back I basically just um, got out there and luckily never messed up um, and uh, in order to, uh, sorry, I practiced reversing backwards to forwards all the time. So whenever I had the chance, 
I would practice reversing, and that's how I got good at um, reversing a road train. So, yeah, I can reverse around corners. And, um, hi, Kylie is here. What are you doing here? You should be working. No. Uh, oh, that's right. You finished the five. Okay. Okay, Kylie. I, I, I mentioned that we were going to catch up, so maybe we still will. I'm still at Maroolan. I'm just doing this until, you know, time is going by, and then I was going to go down and see if we uh, catch up. Um, we're in Perth, are you, Kelly? Um, well, I know where Kelly is. She, she can tell you if she wants. Um, would you ever get K200? Oh, no. We've got a couple of K200s. I don't never want to go back to... Um, to a cab over it's yeah no thanks uh yeah there is a lot more space inside so I, you can run around and stuff like that but um yeah not not really into that oh look out here's um here's Sherilyn. uh morning actually i was going to text you earlier on saying um are you working on the weekends and what are you doing are you out the, and what country are you in uh, Cheryl does something similar to me. She makes, she's got a YouTube channel and she travels all around. Well, you know how I just travel around Australia. She travels around all around Europe. So she's from England, but then she'll go across to Germany, France, and Poland, and all. So, yeah, she's got it. Um, let's see. Oh, Kylie's just finishing in the yard. Okay. Um, Jason says, uh, well, 58, I would have guessed. Uh, 40 or 35. Oh, sorry, are you talking about me or something? I'm not 58. I'm, um, hang on, how old am I? I think I'm 51. I think. I think I'm 51. <laughs> I, I never liked loading cotton. Well, actually, I don't like co co doing the cotton bales because every time we do that, then we have to tarp it. And quite often, it's all, it's all, it only happens in summer. And then the flies, and oh, I mean, I hate flies, as you know. So, no good. You're spot on. They will promise you the world and give you nothing. Yeah, my wife, I shouldn't say this, but my wife, actually, and if you voted Labor, well, you know, she voted Labor. And uh, I said, why are you voting Labor? You know, this is Victoria. And she said, oh, because they're going to build a hospital and something else or something. I said, well, where's this hospital? Where's the school that they were building? Where has it even started? No, so not, uh, not keen. Anyway, th thanks for letting me um, letting me with you. Hope you enjoy the video. Safe travels. Oh, okay, so you've got to go, obviously. All right. Yes. Um, yes, that's, that's, that's great stuff. Um, Lansdale Company Hawkins. That's the one. <laughs> Greg, do you know it? Yes, that's the one. Um, yeah. yeah. It's a good memories back there. I'll send you a message. Kyle says, Keith, I'm in near Hyde Park. Uh, Grumpy is Wednesday. Yes, uh, I've seen her on YouTube. Yes, I. Uh, yeah, she's she's getting pretty popular over there. There's there's so many truck channels, isn't there? You know, all around, and you got so much to choose from. You guys are spoiled. <laughs> um, I oh, reached fifty eight. Yep. Uh, we'd love to. Is it Kelly says? Um, we'd love to interview you for my out and about the Kelly channel. Actually, I think I've seen your channel. Oh, there's someone else going. Um, have you got a cooking channel? Oh, anyway, there's cafe and roastery. So, yeah, I think that was it. Uh, I think that's what I saw, but anyway, I'm not sure. Um, yes. So, what else is happening around here? Was it? Who's Marsh? Excellent channel. Our kids really enjoy your videos. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks. So, uh, if they're watching, hello, kids. I uh, hope you're enjoying well, actually, this is not exactly the uh, this is not exactly the um, <laughs> the right live to, to be showing you this. But anyway, um, this is probably a bit boring. Which I just realised there's a guy in that truck behind me. In, in that, hang on, just just there in that truck there. So he's, he's watching me walk around, talk to myself. <laughs> so I'm going to go over here because it's a bit embarrassing. You know, that's weird. I can talk to you guys. I'm not, I'm not embarrassed whatsoever. But when people see me talking in front of a camera and stuff, I get like, oh, shy. <laughs> Silly. And anyway, uh, we've got half a billion from uh, for Fairfield Hospital, New South Wales. Wow, half a billion. Sounds like a lot of money, but for a hospital, hmm, especially all the equipment in it. 
you know, MRI, it could be a million dollars right there. So, yeah, I look out. I uh, come back to UK from Germany yesterday, video coming, uh, going to Alicante, uh, Spain tomorrow. Oh, wow, look at that. I would love to travel around Europe. Like, like I've, I've traveled around in Australia so many times. It's kind of like, yeah, yeah, kind of boring now. Europe is something I've always wanted to do, especially France and Italy and stuff like that. Uh, I can't speak the language. I mean, if, if they can't speak English, I'll be in a world of trouble. But um, Cheryl has said she can speak. I, I forgot how many languages you can, you can speak, but she can you know, she can speak the lingo, uh, a number of languages. So I don't know how hard that would be to, yes. Anyway. So I um, hope everyone's enjoying themselves. We've uh, been on some time now. Let's have a look. One and a half hours. This is crazy. Anyway, um, as I said, I've got time to burn. Oh, check out these pipes as well. Look how thick these are. And now this is plastic, just thick plastic. And um, you think, oh, plastic, you know, it can't be that heavy. I think, are they four ton each? Or well, at least three and a half or something. Um, so these are going, you know, uh, in Sydney, they're building that, um, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the the airport road, the airport highway thing, whatever. That's what they're doing. That um, That's where they're going. I don't know what part they do. Maybe it's just drainage, but they're so big. I mean, could you just imagine, um, like, this being full of water, all to the bridge is going that I just, I'm just, yeah, wow. Right, what else should we talk about? So we've spoken about the uh, the accidents and stuff. Um, I don't know what else to do about that. Um, I know I'm pretty sure that there was some, but I don't know if it's not a parliamentary inquiry. It's some, something that's coming up that um, I was going to try to compile a list of things that maybe we could look at changing. But then there's also the idea that you could change what happens at the driving school level. That would probably have to be a... Um, uh, how to put it, um, something that would just be, have to be rules that the driving school would, would follow. What's this truck doing? Go slow. Anyway, um, let's put the camera here now for a second and so I can just... Right, that's a walk away and... Anyway... Um, so what has been happening? Anything funny and stuff like that? Um, oh, look out. We've got a, an important comment. Who do you follow in the football? Well, football, football, football. Who do I say? Let's see. I could whisper and you, you could tell. No. So who do I follow in the football? AFL. Um, it's Fremantle. Fremantle. Everyone follows Fremantle. No, they don't, do they? Nobody follows Fremantle. When the air they're going to win a grand final. <sighs> you know, I haven't even seen a football game for years. I'm always working, which is terrible. But um, uh, Fremantle, yes. I love my AFL. I, uh, like, if I was made to watch uh, rugby union or league. Oh, 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 yeah. I need a break. <laughs> um I think I can, but like I just love the the, the with, with with AFL. You know, you can run in any direction, you can go in any direction, you can kick, you can hand pass, and yeah, I, I love it. It's just just action packed at all times. So, yep. Uh, I enjoyed your videos, and and just last night I watched Ken's latest one, and uh, I just returned from Victor Queensland the other day. Uh, a route I travel often. And the roads are not good, but I'm not driving a, a truck. Okay. Yeah, I guess, you know, when you drive in a car, it's um, not so hard, is it? You know, like the bumps, uh, I guess you, you think the roads are bad, but then drive over that same bump in the truck and it's a lot worse. Except I have seen, you know, when you get the whoopsies in the road like that, uh, or, or a big, uh, uh, sorry, a quick one. I've seen cars go over it and, and the car gets really thrown about and then I'm ready for it and because my vehicle is so much, so much longer, when I go over it, it's just like a little 
And it's like, oh, well, that was nothing. So sometimes in the truck, it's actually smoother. Can't wait for tomorrow. James, um, oh, James. <laughs> oh, James, uh, l l l that's right. I was going to contact you. Um, hang on. I think, I think, yeah, I think you're the right, James. We're meeting in Sydney tomorrow. So I was going to ask you, and so you might as well comment now. I'm trying to get over the, the, um, the, the flu. <laughs> Oh, anyway, so so if you've got any vulnerabilities that, uh, you know, you, you just in case you get the flu, or maybe we can keep a distance and stuff like that, just let me know. Um, we might have to put it off, but otherwise, um, yeah, we'll um, meet at Eastern Creek, I think. i got to go to um, Gilbert and Roach. I'm going to buy a seat cover, you know, the sheepskin wool, wool cover, because unfortunately my seat, uh, the stitching's coming apart and it's, it's really hard to get a... Um, yeah, that fixed. So then one of the other truck drivers, he had the same problem. He just bought sheepskin covers. So I thought, okay, I'll buy that. So well, the idea is that I'll go to Gilbert Ro Roach, buy that, and then come back to Eastern Creek um, because I can't stay too long because I've got to go back and get the other trailer from Wagga. So anyway, let me know if um, you, any problems with the flu and stuff like that. Um, flag mantle, flag mantle. <laughs> yes, one day. Uh, Jono, where you, where, oh, was it? Where, where, where you, where, what? Where on lorry diaries in Australia four days ago? Um, yeah, that's the one. So the, um, Rick, the one on, um, um, uh, it's called, um, Learning to Road Train. That's the one I'm on, I'm on, on um, my lorry drivers. Uh oh. What's wrong, Greg? What's this angry face? Is that because I go for Fremantle? Are you going to unsubscribe now? <laughs> Do you go for West Coast? Oh, no, no. Tell me, tell me, what's this angry face for? Uh, Jason says, I love my NRL. I understand it. I watch AFL, so my, I watch AFL. Oh, I see, yeah. Look, look, many people from, um, from uh, Sydney, um, Oh, look out, here's, here's my son. Hang on, we got this. Uh, hello, David. David, yeah. Here's my son. <laughs> I don't know where, where, where am I, David? Uh, well, if you read the uh, the banner, it says I'm in uh, Maroolan. So that's what we're doing. We're just doing a live chat. As you can see, it's been, a, been going for a fair while. So, um, yes. David's getting over the flu as well. I, I hope you're feeling better. He said he's uh, been feeling pretty bad. He's got school tomorrow. He doesn't want to go to school, do you? But, um, yes, you have to go to school. Uh, oh, yeah, and everyone, you, you'll know David um, um, because uh, you saw him in that video, How to Do a Pre-Start. That's my son. So uh, James says, okay, sounds good. Hoping to meet you tomorrow. Yes, um, that's good. I will see you tomorrow then. So. Um, yeah, so plan to be around um, Eastern Creek for around 10 o'clock. I think that's the time I'll get there. I'm unloading at 7. I may be earlier, but I will text you if, um, yeah, if you're going to. Did I ha have a hard dinner? No, I was just saying to other people, I haven't had dinner yet. I was trying to work out what I'm going to do for dinner. If you go to Pheasant's Nest, I, I, I don't remember what's there. So um, I feel like a counter meal or something like that. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, David says he's getting better. That's good. I uh, hope you get better soon, David. <laughs> well, there you go, David. Everyone's uh, wishing you a uh, good, uh, well, and um, that video was some, was fun. Yes, um, I'd love to get David into more videos and stuff. I wish I could take him around Australia on the holidays and stuff like that, but it's, it's really difficult because let's just say uh, if I go away for a minimum of two weeks, we're not picking him up it's quite likely that I'm not going to get David back in time for school. So it's, it's, it's a hard one. Um, yeah, anyway. My kids love going to school and I hope your son has a fast recovery. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, Jason, I mean, um, David loves school. Um, probably likes recess and stuff better. Who doesn't, you know? We always live for that time when, um, when the, the, the siren or bell or whatever you've got goes and you know my favorite day was friday because from friday lunchtime we would have hang on we would have i think manual arts 
for an hour and a half and then we'd have sport to end the the, the week so basically from lunchtime friday it's it's the best especially if you're going over your friend's place because i used to go over friends places you know for the weekend sometimes uh, i love going to the farm and stuff like that so it was always the best um we could always do it at christmas break no i can't really because i take that basically remember i take uh, four weeks off over christmas so from just before christmas right through to nearly the end of january i have off and then uh it's only one week before i um sorry one week before the kids go back to school i go um go back to work so that doesn't really work anyway, but uh, yeah. Uh, Tom says, Pheasant's Nest Roadhouse is now rebuilt with a few eating places. I know they got Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme donuts, I don't care for those. I don't know why people like them. It's, I don't know, it's just, yeah, no good. Um, I prefer a Donut King. That's my um, my favourite. Um, and I, But I don't remember what other food they've got in there, like restaurants and stuff like that. Um Shame just to thought, oh, what was that one? You know, so much fun. We could always do, yeah, yeah, it's just a thought. Oh, yeah, um, definitely. Um, um, yes, yeah, pity, but, um, yeah. Maybe when he finishes school, I don't know, sometimes. So we'll see what happens. It's uh, it's always difficult. Um, okay. Uh, maybe I might need to finish up. Um Keg, uh, sorry, um, Kylie's finishing work. It's five thirty. By the time she gets up, uh, I don't want to have to, her, her sitting around and stuff like that waiting for me. <laughs> uh, Cahill's Crossing, Kakadu National Park is where the famous bush where the crocodiles are. Yes, I must remember that because if I go up there, I'd love to get some. I've got the big zoom camera as well, so I'd love to get some shots of the uh, of the crocs and stuff. Um, that would that would be cool. Yeah. All right, well, if, um, if there's any more comments, you're going to put, uh, put them in then as quickly as you can now um, because I need to need to get going. It's, uh, yes, need to get going. Um, so there are not that many people here. Actually, it was funny, um, uh, Ken was just saying to me, he said, oh, yeah, um, not that many people on the, on, um, we're all in on Sunday night, but yeah. All right. Um, uh, bye, Ke uh, so bye. Uh, have a nice video. Thanks, Rick. Uh, I'm still watching, uh, waiting to go. Okay. Um, do I need to rush, Kylie? I don't know. I forget. It's uh, 45 minutes probably from here. So um, I, I better get in and um, get going up the road anyway. Um, thanks, Kelly. You have a great night and um, – yeah, whatever you're doing, Tom's is uh, safe on with travel. Thanks. All right, everybody. Um, Got to remember how to, to finish this. All right, uh, Greg, thanks for that. 45 minutes for you too. Okay. Well, I'll wander up there anyway. And um, thanks, everyone, for watching. And um, I've had fun. I hope you guys have fun too. And I'll see you next time.